All right, guys, what we're going to show you guys today is how we shut down the pool from the beginning to the end. You're going to see everything from us taking the covers uh, where it's at the very end. Uh, the very first step is going to be taking off the jet lines, getting them filled with antifreeze, then getting the skimmer line filled with antifreeze, and then getting the main drain filled with antifreeze, which is generally the hardest part of closing down your own pool. But if you follow these steps and you stay with me to the end of the video, you're going to see exactly how I've been doing this since 2005 and I've got my pool, never had a busted pipe, never had to dig up anything and I saved myself $300 a year. So as you see in the title, you want to save yourself $300 and shut down your own pool, follow me. Okay, so first step is going to be, going to come over here. And we're going to get our first jet. Here's we're going to take the jet here off, just like this, and it just twists out. Okay? And so now, we're going to go ahead and get the jet out here on this side of the pool. Okay, so now, next step, now we got the jets off, is we gotta blow out the jet lines because they're still filled with water. I don't care how long you let your line sit, they're gonna be filled with some type of water. And the only way to get them out, by using an air compressor with the proper attachment. So, I've had this air compressor for a few years. What I'm gonna do, open this up. Turn lines are coming out of my heater and get my monkey wrenches. Draining the heater. Wet towel is going to do. It's going to help to seal the pipe so that the air can put even more water through both pipes at the same time, so the air doesn't come back out the other way of the pipe. So we got half this towel wet. Okay, now that I have uh, both lines emptied, so I thought with water, I'm gonna do one more check to make sure that each individual line is as empty of water as I can before I get ready to put my antifreeze in. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna take my little trusty cap that will end up being the overall winter plug, and you see it's got its butterfly cap, and it just tightens down into each hole. Well, the reason why you had to make sure you got both jets off is I'm going to put this on the near jet and then blow just like I did before and blow as much water out as I can. That way, I know that that one particular line is empty as much as it can be. 
Then I'll put a cap on that line and blow out the other one. Get as much water out as you can. You want to go slow with your air pressure because you don't want to bust the pipe as you're trying to push this water out. So you want to go in stages so that you can get as much water out as you can before you add your antifreeze in. And remember, there's generally going to be a little water left, which is why you want to get as much out as you can. So here we go. We get ready to take this cap, put it down into the warm hole, tighten it down. Then good. Now we're going to watch that hole over on that side. And not blow it out. Absolutely no water that can come out from the amount that's in it right now. So what we're going to do now that we have one cap line, one line capped, we're going to go ahead and put antifreeze into this line that we already have open, and we're going to pour antifreeze in and blow antifreeze through until we see a heavy pink color or blue color or whatever color your antifreeze might be. That's what we're going to pour in, okay? We're not endorsing any particular brand of antifreeze. But what we use is RV 50 Below Antifreeze. We'll show you what we got at the end, or you can click, click the link below to find out where it's at. So, as I'm doing all of this um, prepping for getting the pool closed down, getting antifreeze in the line, I got my pool cleaner still going in the pool, making sure that it's getting anything that may have settled in the water. And I like to use the uh, little generic. Um, pool closing kit to winterize the pool with the chemicals in because I'm going to leave about three just underneath my pipe of water in the pipe in the pool and that's going to help to keep the pool liner down over the winter time and then also in the uh, when uh, autumn comes back again um, and it's time to fill it back up I don't have to put that much water back in so it saves down on the bill. So uh, this year it looks like they got us with a liquid as opposed to three dries. It changes from year to year. So don't get uh, caught up if you're seeing me and I got this little pack of powder here, pack of powder here. One year I got the winter clothes down kit and it was three packs of powder. One year I got it was two packs of powder. So um, don't get caught up on what I actually have here. Just follow the technique. And so. Um, what I like to do is go ahead and uh, throw these in, let my pool cleaner move them around. Um, they like to uh, get it going all the way through the pipes and everything and uh, have it go through the sand filter and you know help to clean that out. But I'm not wasting any of the chemical on my sand filter this year because I know that next year I gotta clean out my sand filter. So I'm gonna put it all into the water, let it uh, circulate with my um, robotic pool cleaner that I have in. And then we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning up the rest of the uh, pipes with getting the antifreeze in and getting the skimmer line and the main drain done. So just follow up. So the directions on these say um, they all go in. It's just a matter of the order that they want them to go in. And the first one is uh, on this one the winterizing powder. So it's this one. Yeah, they want me to put this one in first. Then they want me to put in the bottle of liquid and the shock. So there's always a little order that they want you to do it in. I'm going to grab my scissors so I'm not using my teeth. Don't want to get any of this chemical in me. Let's cut the edge. And you don't mix this with any uh, liquid or anything. You just uh, go ahead and sprinkle it around. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, it did change. This one said a little different every year I tell you every year is a little different uh, mix the contents of this 
in a pail of water and then take it around the outside. And so that's a little different than in previous years. In previous years, I just take the dry and put it on in. So, glad I was reading and glad you guys were following me. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in. Oh, that's why. Look at it. They got a little oxido oil over here. So I don't know what it is. A little oxyclean or something. Because it's blue. It ain't usually blue every year. It's usually just like plain old white. So this is the first year I've ever seen it like this. So that's probably why they gotta have you to mix it in some water. There's a little new stuff every year. Every year, some new stuff. Mm hmm. Don't let them try and fool you on that. Oh! Close down your pool better and we'll guarantee XYZ. And you can close down your own pool for about 25, 40 bucks. Get some time. Got the chemical right here. This is what they're going to do. I mean, nobody went to school, close down the pool. Somebody said, I'm going to close down the pool, open up a business. Well, I'm going to close down the pool and just keep it my business. That's what I'm doing. So now I got that mixed in, and you see what I'm doing here? Yeah, everything clean the pool. That's what I'm doing. It's cleaning, my robot's cleaning it. There you go. First part in. Probably add some more water in here for the third part. Yeah, something about um how heavy the winter is going to be every year by how the pool chemicals come. If they give you a two set, it's not gonna be that bad. They give you a three set, you gotta buckle down. I don't know. But uh, to have all three parts mixed in the water every year, first year I ever did this. And this is like my 13th year closing down pool. And I've never had any trouble any year before. That backward circle, that do a little different than that frontward circle. Third part, adding it in a um, non-coordinated chlorine. This here is what kills all the algae all winter, or keeps it down at least. Put bath salts in my own pool that I do all week, every week myself anyway. Go. Now we're getting ready to add our antifreeze into our first jet line. And to do that, just very simply, I got some antifreeze from the local department store hey 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 and uh we'll take it and pour it right on into the same line that i just blew out we we'll go down that line You'll hear it going down. Just be slow with it. It's got a long way to go. That's right, people. That's all it takes. One gallon of antifreeze, it's in the line. Now, here's where the tricky part comes in. Here's what they're going to tell you that you got to pay the $300 for. So you got two people. One person looking at the hole that you're blowing the airline through to see if the antifreeze is coming out and another person to blow the antifreeze through. 
They usually send three people out on the team. It's $100 a person. They're out there for about 10, maybe 30 minutes. I'll give them 30. Here's how you do it. Very simply, same thing as you did before. You've got your air compressor. You've got your water and your... Okay, this is his second gallon of antifreeze that he's putting in. It's coming out. It's pink coming out. Pink coming out? Yes. Okay, so we just got done. Uh, putting antifreeze into one part of the line, we close it off, and now we're going to put two more gallons of antifreeze into the same line, the exact same line, but we opened up the other return jet. And now we're going to put more antifreeze into there, push more straight water out, and look for more straight pink. Okay? That's how much water was actually still in the initial line before we even added any more antifreeze in. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the two gallons of antifreeze just to mix in with any hidden water that might be anywhere inside the line. Because remember, this is my pool. These are my pipes. I'm responsible if these pipes burst in the wintertime. And I don't want to have that responsibility and it digging up on me. So I'd rather check it twice so that I don't have even one problem. <laughs> I like to stop it when I see it's heavy pink. That way I know there's a heavy concentration of antifreeze right there. So if there's any water that may have backed up or may seep in from someplace, maybe I got a crack pipe on there I don't know about that's being sealed, whatever. Heavy pink is the ideal time for you to stop blowing. Don't try and blow it all the way through. That's why you have a couple extra gallons. So we're gonna put one more gallon in, make sure it's good. After capping it, back on the other side. Now, the next line causes most people the most trouble is the skimmer line. It's been a rough summer. Got a lot of things go on. The skimmer held up pretty good. Caught most of the leaves. 
no mice this year. But as you see, let me take a look in here. Still filled with water. And the sad thing about the uh, skimmer line is that you can blow it back from the pump. But that means you got to have a pump powerful enough to blow it all the way over. The better thing is to bring your air hose over to the skimmer line and blow it through so it comes back through the pump. Because then that way, as much water, let gravity work with you. Let the weight of the water continue to go down the line and you just keep blowing it, blowing it through. And it'll go through your line. Make sure your skimmer line is open so that you don't blow a pipe. Make sure your skimmer line is open so you don't blow a pipe. Okay, so here's one of the things that people really hate about clean, uh, closing down their own pool. You're gonna get wet. <laughs> You're gonna get wet. Um, you got your skimmer line here. You got your uh, air compressor. One more thing you should do over here at your pump to make sure your pump empties out easily is take the little knobs that are on your pump and you twist those on out and watch what happens to the water that comes in from the pump from the skimmer line. There you go. And make sure you hold on to these. I always like to just throw them right back in because they'll never get lost as long as they're with it. Right size, right one. Look at all that water that's coming out of the skimmer line. But that's not all the water. That's not all the water in the skimmer line. So I'm going to turn off the main drain, make sure nothing's going back in through there. I'm going to go back over to the skimmer and pump out some more. So remember, I got two gallons of antifreeze over there. I'm going to throw that water down. We're looking for heavy paint. but it's not out of the line. I know it's still in the line. So what I want to do is just like I said before, give it as much antifreeze. You know how long your line is. I say line, I mean you know how long your pipeline is, so you know how much antifreeze you might need. You don't expect to fill the line with antifreeze. That's not the goal. The goal is to get antifreeze in so that if there's any moisture in there, the antifreeze mixes with it, and it does not allow that water to freeze inside the pipe. This is going to be real good. As you see now, I got the antifreeze. And you see how much it stands up above into the actual skimmer. So now when I get ready to put my air jet down in there, my blower, you're going to have heavy pink coming out on the other side of the pump. Watch and see.
so no excess water can come in, no excess water come off. And now it's time to do the main drain. And this here is probably why most of you guys turned showed up. And I'll tell you, the first time I did the main drain, I was frightened. But every time after that, I'm just as scared, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it's because with the closing of the main drain, you really do need two people or you've got to be in a close enough proximity to see your pool. So tune in, stay up, and we're getting ready to do the main drain. Okay, so got to your pool, you've got the jets done, got the skimmer line done. So the last thing that you got to do is the main drain. Main drain is very difficult to do because you have to be coordinated as you're closing it down. I like to double my closing of my main drain down, whereas most people will come over and they will do what's called an airlock. An airlock is where you blow air into the line and when you see bubbles, you close off the line, locking the air in the line. Therefore, no water goes in, no water can freeze in that line. I like to do something a little extra. I like to do is blow the air out, make sure that the line is open, make sure I got bubbles coming through. Then I like to try and hose in at least a gallon of antifreeze into that line and then blow my antifreeze through with the bubbles, seeing air and antifreeze come up, sealing off the line. Therefore, if any point in time in the winter time, something might happen, I got a, at least I have a peace of mind that I tried to get the antifreeze in. So those are my steps that I use. If you follow what I do, um, you might end up like me. And uh, we got all of the stuff that we use in the links below. You can click and buy everything that we got um, and see and do it just like how we do it. Okay, we're not professionals, we're amateurs. Um, we're just doing what we do in our backyard. So here we go. So this is how I'm going to get my gallon of antifreeze into my main drain. And if you click the link below, you'll see what this item actually is. As to how I'm filling this pump up. And it's working like a charm. You can come in look in the pump and you can see that there's no antifreeze going into the pump from the line. It's all going down the main drain. All going down the main drain. First year that this went this easy. First year that this went this easy. And I know what this tool is. This came 
from my aquarium. And so this funnel, it works perfect in reverse to fill your main drain. Okay. Okay guys, so now we've got the pool all closed up and as you see around here the outside getting ready to lay down the tarp around the outside making sure we got our buckets where we want them at placed. We don't use sandbags, we don't use bricks. Um, we found all those things that lead to problems in the fall. So what do we do? found some five gallon buckets loose anywhere and uh, we got the five gallon buckets cut off the top threw in some sand and um, got a real heavy weight and then I can just reuse these year after year after year and so this is my second year using them they stayed out all summer and uh, that's what we're gonna do so you watch the uh, speedy up tape um, we're gonna lay it all out Put the buckets down and then we'll be uh, almost ready to close down for the year.